Kadesh and Shur and stayed in Gerar. And Abraham said concerning Sarah his wife, she is my sister. And Abimelech king of Gerar sat and took Sarah. But Yah came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, See, you are a dead man because of the women you have taken. She is a man's wife. However, Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, Yah, would you slay a righteous nation also? Did he not say to me, she is my sister? And she even, she herself said, he is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and in the innocence of my hands, I have done this. So little Hebrews, he's saying that his intentions were not bad. You know, he did not know that that was Abraham's wife. So he's telling Yah, he's pleading with Yah. You know, I didn't know, I didn't know. And Yah said to him in a dream, Yea, I know that you did this in the integrity of your heart. And so I kept you from sinning against me. For this reason, I did not let you touch her. And now, return the man's wife, for he is a prophet. And let him pray for you and you live. But if you do not return her, know that you shall certainly die, you and all that are yours. So Abimelech rose early in the morning and called all his servants and spoke all these words in their hearing. And the men were greatly frightened. And Abimelech called Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? And what have I sinned against you that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done matters to me that you should have not done. And Abimelech said to Abraham, what did you have in view that you have done this matter? So he's asking Abraham, little Hebrews, you know, why did you do this? And Abraham said, only because I said to myself, the fear of Yah is not in this place. And they shall kill me for the sake of my wife. And yet, she is truly my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother. And she became my wife. And it came to be, when Yah caused me to wander from my father's house, that I said to her, This is your kindness that you should do for me in every place, wherever we go. Say of me, He is my brother. So he's letting the king know that he told Sarah, do this wherever we go. You tell people that you're my sister, you know, so they can be safe. Then Abimelech took sheep and cattle and male and female servants and gave them to Abraham. And he returned Sarah, his wife, to him. And Abimelech said, see, my land is before you. Dwell wherever it is good in your eyes. And to Sarah he said, See, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. See, it is to you a covering of eyes before all who are with you and before all others, and you are cleared before everyone. And Abraham prayed to Yah, and Yah healed Abimelech and his wife and his female servants, so they bore children. For Yah had closed up the wombs of the house of Ab Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. So, little Hebrews. What he's saying is, you know, Yah did not let them have any kids until Abraham um, prayed first. And then Yah allowed them in their household to have kids after that. So, that's the end of Bereshit, Genesis chapter 20. Shalom, shalom.